Indiana are asking Governor Holcomb and other state leaders to skip standardized testing this year. Fox 55's Nico Panisi is live tonight at Carroll High School where he spoke with local school leaders about this push. Nico, why, why do they feel now it's so necessary? Chris, this school year has been especially difficult for students. Between struggling through the pandemic and stresses from the classroom, the last thing school administrators want students to worry about is standardized testing. No standardized testing for 2020-2021. Teachers say the same thing. Parents say the same things. Kids say the same things. If you look and see, really, this year has been an incredibly difficult year. We all say we should be showing some grace. Well, it's time to show some grace then to the kids. Grace in the form of eliminating this year's iLearn testing requirements. And Sandra Voss says living through a global pandemic has been hard enough. This is such a strange year. We have so many kids who are virtual and... The state has already been talking about holding harmless schools, which basically means that they're not going to count the test. She says the test won't be used to grade the schools and they won't have any functioning value at the state level. So why on earth would you put kids through the testing? 31% of students at Fort Wayne Community Schools are still entirely virtual. Superintendent Mark Daniel says that's why standardized testing is illogical this year. To meet the national guidelines of norm reference testing, which that's what ISTEP and iLearn is, you have to have 95% of your students taking the test. NAC Superintendent Chris Himsel also feels it's unfair to his students. Standardized tests in general causes some anxiety among kids, and there's been a tremendous amount of anxiety caused by COVID for over the last year. And we, we just don't think that it's necessary to use standardized tests as a way of increasing that anxiety. Himsel says students have a diverse array of talents and passions, something that can't be standardized. They are very wide, varied, and different. He says a test doesn't properly gauge that. School administrators hope that Governor Holcomb hears what they have to say and does what's right for both teachers and students alike. At Carroll High School, I'm Nico Panisi, Fox 55 News. The Department of Education also released a statement in February requiring standardized testing nationally. However, states can opt out and adjust as needed. Governor Eric Holcomb has not yet commented publicly about this issue.